Welcome back to Summit Sunrise. Again, I'm Manigan and I'm joined by Nikki from the town of Frisco. And you guys have a ton of events coming up, don't you? We do. We're full on winter events right like, now. I feel like it just keeps coming. You've just had spontaneous combustion. Yep. You guys have had so many really great things and there's always something coming up. So tell me a little bit about the Up and Adam Nordic race you guys have. Yeah, so that one's been going on. Our next race is next Wednesday, February 6th. It's um, a morning event, which is a little different than most of our events. It starts at 7 a.m out at the Nordic Center, um, just come out and we have a race set up for you. Um, next week's gonna be a classic ski course, 7.5 nice. kilometers. And the idea is just to come out before work and get a workout in and then we give you some coffee and some breakfast and you can start your day. <laughs> there you go, that sounds like the best way to do it. Up and at them, get your morning going. And how do people register for that? Um, they can go to townoffrisco.com and register in advance um, right on our website. And can it be any age group? It can be, anyone so can come can out, it. yeah. That's so fantastic. And so you have another event actually that same day though, right? Yeah, <laughs> and this is another series and it's actually kicking off on February 6th and it's at our historic park. Park, so over on Main Street nice. and it's our winter lecture series and it's three o'clock free to attend come on over to the historic park and each week is a different topic okay so next week we'll kick it off with mountain rescues of Summit County and it's just come out and learn a little bit about the history of Frisco and Summit County yeah that sounds like a great way to do that because there is a lot of history around Summit County and especially over in Frisco so what better way to do it than kind of educate yeah, everyone exactly yeah and then of course you have another race series coming up you've got the gold rush Nordic series yeah so um, the Nordic Center obviously has a lot going on yeah. this winter. <laughs> And um, Gold Rush is going to be on Saturday, February 9th. So not this Saturday, but the following Saturday. Yeah. And it is the 49th year of Gold Rush. Wow. It's the longest running Nordic race in the state, which is pretty cool. That's really awesome. And it is a morning event. So 9 a.m. we'll have a 20 kilometer, um, 7.5 kilometer, and a 1K for the kiddos. Nice. Um, different races going on. And it's just a really fun event to get out and check out the different trails out at the peninsula. Yeah, so what age category defines it for the kids and then what separates them to start going into the adult classes? Um, they'll have to check out townoffrisco.com for that. I'm not sure the exact age range, Yeah. Um, but check that out and it's just a great event. Yeah, and it's going to be pretty open. Most people can get in there and have some fun. And yeah. again, they're just going to register. You know, the 20K is more... If you're doing the 20K, you're probably a bit more of an advanced skier yeah. <laughs> than if you're going to do the 7.5K. We offer classic and skate for 7.5, so depending on um, which type of skiing you nice. want to do. Yeah. That's awesome. And then you have another great event coming up. This one's actually fantastic, probably one of my favorites. But it's Eat, Ski, and Be Merry, right? Yeah, so <laughs> it is the same day as Gold Rush. It's just later in the day at the Nordic Center. It'll kick off around 6 o'clock. Um, this is one of my favorites. It supports the Summit Nordic Ski Club. They host it and it's a progressive dinner out on the trails nice. so we have um, a two kilometer loop and it's lit up with luminaries and we have food and drink stops along the way two bonfires so you just go out and ski um, out at, in the dark but we ha we have it lit up for you yeah and it's really fun, good family event bring kids out for it yeah. and then it ends at the day lodge with a party with more food and drink <laughs> and music and an action. That is so fun. So you can definitely probably spend your whole day at the Nordic Center. I think day. you could at the Gold Rush, February do some 9, snow yes. or something, and then just go through the night and have dinner. That's so fun. So once again, how can people register, find out more about um, these? Townofrisco.com and for Eat Ski Be Merry, they do expect it to sell out. So if you're interested in it, it'd be best to purchase tickets yeah. in advance because we won't do be doing right day away. of ticket sales. Yeah. yeah, that is so exciting. So there's always something <clears throat> happening over at the town of Frisco. There's never a dull moment, I feel like, over there. There's always something going on. Mm -hmm. And it's so great because you really can bring a whole family, all different age groups, and everybody kind of get together, different levels of skiers, and just have a good time out yeah. here. Because those trails are beautiful, too. They are the views of the mountains and over Dillon Reservoir. It's, it's, yeah, incredible. it's incredible. Yeah. So thank you so much to Nikki from the town of Frisco. Again, make sure you guys visit townoffrisco.com to find out more about all those fantastic events they have coming up and to register for them. Definitely don't want to miss out on them. And as Nikki said, of course, the Eat, Ski, and Be Merry might sell out, so do it sooner than yes. later. <laughs>